You'll need to have a few supplies before you begin cleaning your block. Isopropyl alcohol, Decagon's cleaning solution, or distilled water, and a cleaning rod with extra chem wipes. When you wrap the cleaning rod, make sure you thoroughly cover the plastic at the tip of the rod so the plastic itself is not allowed to come into contact with the block. Only the chem wipe should touch the block and its components. You want to be very careful not to scratch the mirror when cleaning. Before you begin, remove the power cord from the back of your instrument. Next, remove the lid by turning the thumb screw on the back of the lid counterclockwise and then pulling the lid away from the instrument. Remove the foam cover from on top of the block. Using the two tabs on the side of the cable, remove the cable and finally turn the two thumb screws on the block counterclockwise and lift the block up and away from the instrument. The sensor block should be cleaned using isopropyl alcohol, Decagon's cleaning solution, or distilled water, and dried with a clean chem wipe and cleaning rod. Apply two to three drops of cleaning solution. You'll want to start by cleaning the mirror and optical sensor using gentle pressure. Next, clean the infrared temperature sensor using a circular motion. Finally, clean the surfaces of the block, including the recessed areas, under the fan blades, the center area around the sensor, and where the cup makes contact with the block. Place the block back into the instrument and turn the thumb screws clockwise until they are firmly seated. P push the cable into the block until it snaps. Replace the foam cover on top of the block. Place the lid back onto the instrument and turn the thumb screw on the back clockwise until it is tight. For further assistance with cleaning your instrument, refer to your owner's manual or call our customer service department at 1-800-755-2751.